Absolutely. And Katie and Sharice, when we were doing this story earlier today, a man came up to us and said he had just moved here from Kansas and he'd never seen streets this bad in his life. Well, Toto, you're not in Kansas anymore because we found a possible explanation as to why the city that brings you Mardi Gras is also bringing you more and bigger potholes lately. A school bus stuck in a hole on General Ogden, a Mercedes-Benz truck on St. Philip. Then on Poydras, the driver of this Audi falls into a big hole near the dome. There is a sign there that is off that would probably, when it's on, direct the traffic not to come this way. There were no, there were no barriers to where I was wanted to go. This morning, the hole on Poydras was being filled in. By noon, it was completely filled in. So we wanted to ask the city some questions. They answered, though, with a statement saying, quote, yesterday, sewage and water board crews were working to repair a water leak on Poydras and Liberty. As planned, crews are continuing work today to complete this work. It is important to note that this was not a sinkhole, but an active construction zone, end quote. The city sent this picture showing that traffic controls were in place at the time the Audi driver went in. They say safety measures are being increased, and they also added this note, saying the lack of rain last year caused soil to be more concentrated, causing bigger potholes. So we turned to the expertise of a UNO civil engineer who explained that the city sits on land and clay built up by the river. And clay, when it dries, it shrinks. So the water takes up space, and typically we have a very wet climate, so typically we've got a nice plumped up uh, clay, clay layers. Uh, when it, things get dry, the water migrates out, evaporates, and the clay shrinks. So yes, more than likely we are seeing worse pothole situations just because of the drought that we experienced uh, this past summer. And she added that federal dollars have come into the city to do infrastructure work. But remember, it oftentimes involves work that includes the utilities that are underneath. You can see that roadway here on Poydras is closed up now. Now, the work has to be done, she added, in small contracts, small increments, because if you did one big large area at a time, there would be businesses and your driveways at your home that wouldn't have access to them for a very long time. So that's why they are done that way. Reporting live from Poydras near the Dome, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Let's, Back to you. Let's hope that does not happen again. Meg, thank you so much.